Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at Option Alpha. Uh, this is the training alert video for our members to the credit spreads. It is Monday, January 3rd in the evening. Just want to go over um, a couple of things. I know I got a lot of emails today from people, um, a lot of freaked out beginning traders out there um, worrying about today's move and its relation to our current credit spreads that we have on for January. Now you'll notice that the new alert is for February um, because I think that February is a shorter month. I want to get uh, three trades in hopefully for February and I'm suffi sufficient to say that I think January is going to be um, all set to go with just two trades this month. Again, we try to target between uh, two, three, sometimes four trades at the very, very most with these credit spread strategies. So. Um, 17 days left to go in expirations, cutting it real tight. And any any of the new trades in January are just going to be a little bit too close with the market heading off for the new year. So, um, but anyways, let's go over a chart of the S and P that I've already got up here. I think what's really important to notice, and again, here's our our credit spread. Here's this 1300 to 1310 credit spread, is that we do have a considerable amount of distance uh, between where the market is now and um, this 1300 level. Now, of course. If we have two more days like we did before, we'll be right at 1300. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think if you look back historically, uh, when the market has seemed to rally, uh, you know, at the top here, it has these big days right at the top, namely right in here. Um, you know, it, it seems to taper off. Look, we are definitely on a huge, huge bullish run. Um, and it's never going to last forever. And um, I think that's something that we all need to take into account as we, uh, you know, continue to go through these these months here. Um, MACD is clearly overbought and rolling over. RSI stochastics, all the same uh, across the board. Overbought, overbought, overbought. Um, sentiment is extremely high, the highest bullish levels we've had in a long time. Um, so it just goes to show you that uh, you can't get too complacent here. I still think that these are really good trades, which is why I'm keeping them on. I don't want to get rid of these trades at all or, or really adjust them. Um, if we start to see the market slowly start to creep higher at the end of the week, then we might think about adjusting them with maybe going long another call uh, for the time being just to maybe take advantage of, of a possible uh, move higher and, and get that extra premium. But for right now, the SPX spread that we have is, is still okay. It's a good looking trade. And again, of course, with, with these trades, these credit spreads, we do have limited risk. So we are um, you know capped for many catastrophic moves. On the RUT side with the Russell, uh, the Russell is definitely looking a little bit better. Um, that has, we have a credit spread at 830 and 835 is the other one right there. So again, you can see the Russell's had just a monstrous run, uh, which is why we feel really good about entering uh, the new trading alert on the Russell on the put side this week um, and giving it room on the lower side if it does continue to run after January, which I highly doubt would happen, but uh, you know, you never know with this market. Um, I think that something that we all have to consider, and and I keep looking at at these charts, uh, you know, just as much as everyone else. But you have to look um, back in January of last year, really, uh, when the market, you know, had its huge rally into the end of April. Uh, we've already done that move and then some. Uh, so there's definitely a huge amount of uh, demand that's already come into the market. And there's not many more buyers that can come into the market, which I guess is really what kind of frightens me about the next correction move. I think it's going to be pretty sharp and head back down below 750, at least for the Russell. Um, and it'll happen over the course of a week. Uh, I can pretty much guarantee that any correction that starts uh, will immediately find a lot of sellers eager to get rid of, of their stocks. So. Anyways, that's the trading alert for today and tonight. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, please email us and happy trading.